such a teeny eeny beatsy little horn. I love it so much. If you're not familiar with these horns, these Yamaha 9820s are the real deal. They're so much fun to play and extremely versatile, even without the fourth valve. I'll tell you what this little me mechanism does in just a bit, so stay tuned. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. I hope you're having a fantastic day out there today. Thanks so much for all your support. Please take a moment, hit that subscribe button. That's right around this little tiny horn um, and stay up to date with us. We have so many cool new arrivals to the shop like this beautiful Yamaha 9820 custom piccolo with the fourth three plus one, I call it, mechanism. Now you say three valve piccolo, completely useless, right? Because most uh, music, especially, and I didn't, for some reason, I didn't bring the A side. Most music, in, if you're in concert A, goes always down to the low concert D. On an A piccolo, that's F, so outside the range of a low uh, three-valve horn. This rotor mechanism right here, if you engage it, it, this added length drops the whole horn down by one step. And I'm going to show you that. Hold on, let me switch to my microphone. So if you need to play something that has a low F in it, for instance, like uh, this is from, uh, I can't remember exactly what, but it does a lot of arpeggio. Stanley, maybe? That low F is now playable. And I just love the articulation of this horn. I don't know if you can hear it on the microphone. It's just got this cr beautiful crispness to it. So. And it would be a great horn to improvise on and also really to play quintet. So if you think of some of those Canadian brass arrangements that have some floaty piccolo, three valve piccolo is really where it's at. It's just really, it's much more open. And like I said, the articulation of this horn is just so good. So if I was gonna improvise on it, let me, um, this is a uh, 3ES, but if I put it in a slightly bigger mouthpiece, which is a 3CS, and I'm using silver mouthpieces so you can see a little ring around my chops, but that's because I'm allergic. Um, I just feel like they have slightly better sound shape for these videos. Just a fun little horn. Uh, this horn is a consignment horn. It does have a little ping in the bell. We could take it out. It's gonna be a little bit of an additional charge if you need that out, but we're pricing it at a really great price. It comes with the case and the A-pipe. It also comes with an additional third slide that doesn't have the rotor. So if you never have to go to that low F, you can get it even more crisp and brilliant by taking this whole mechanism off and I'll show you I just want to show you actually if you haven't seen it it's really you know quite brilliant the design here on the Yamaha 
I think it's originally a Schilke design, but you can see that that's the slide. And then the horn itself is just a three valve horn. Um, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant stuff. So, um, so this one is for sale on consignment. The listing will be in the description. And if you click on the link and it's not there, that probably means it's already been sold, but reach out to us because we have a wish list of horns and we get so many horns in that never even make it to the shop page. So we're always here for you. Thanks again for watching this video. Hit that subscribe button, stay up to date with us and keep on keeping on and keep tooting on the little piccolo trumpets. They're so much fun. Cheers. Thank you.